Hey guys, it's your girl Jensine, aka Jungle Naps, and welcome back for another video. So I know you guys really loved my last foundation review. My little Dope or Nope series seems to be quite a hit, so I decided to go ahead and try out another foundation, um, just because I believe that there aren't enough reviews out there for women of color or even just darker skin tones. So today's foundation is going to be this the urban decay all nighter foundation now this claims to be waterproof and long wearing and it has a matte finish so i'm really excited i'm going to do um about an eight hour wear test so right now i don't have any makeup on at this moment i just have you know my eyeliner and mascara but I'm gonna go ahead and start with skin prep because I believe that it's so important to prep your skin so that your foundation just goes on smoothly and has a better chance of wearing out or wearing well <laughs> throughout the day. So first up, I'm gonna go in with my Kudali Beauty Elixir. I just got this from Sephora and it is just amazing. Mm. And it smells like super minty and it's got tons of essential oils and all that jazz that are really good for your skin. So I'm just going to go ahead and let that kind of absorb into the skin. Next up, I'm going in with my Tarte Clean Slate Primer. This is just a primer that I can't help but reach for again and again and I am almost done with it. <laughs> but it's perfect for just like blurring out any imperfections, you know? Okay, so now that I'm done with priming and all the prep, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the camera closer just to zoom you guys in so you can really see what this looks like as I apply it onto my skin. Okay, so I'm going to use the recommended brush. Um, this is the Flat Optical Blurring Brush, the F108 from Urban Decay. And they did recommend using this, and they also said that one pump should be enough to cover the face. So I'm gonna go ahead and shake this up because they recommended that on the box. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pump one pump on my hand. As you can see, there it is. So their darker shades do have a bit of a like reddish tone to them, most of them do. Even if they look like they're golden tones, they have a slight red tint to it. So I can already tell I do need more than one pump, so I'm going to go ahead and put that on again. You can see how much came out. Also you guys should know that I can already tell this is like really full coverage like boom <laughs> okay so my first impressions initially it did go on very 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 light i did read reviews that it kind of does oxidize so i'm thinking that's what's happening right now i haven't added my contour and the rest of my face makeup but I do want to say that I really, really, really like that it is very high pigment. So if you have a lot of hyperpigmentation that you're trying to cover up, this is going to be great. And I love that this doesn't look cakey. It almost has like a skin like looking type of effect, you know. Um, it does look very, very beautiful right after the initial application. So I'm not going to ramble too much. I'm going to let the visual looks, you know, do the talking. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my makeup and then I'm going to check in with you guys in two hours to just kind of see how things are holding up. All right, so I will be back. Okay guys, so it has been two hours. It's almost five o'clock in the afternoon and I'm going to say my face looks metro booming it looks so good i am not oily not one bit um and i have pretty normal skin it kind of varies with the season sometimes it can be more oily in the summer like now and in the winter it gets a little bit dry but um t-zone is looking really good my face doesn't look overly dry contour looks booming i have nothing bad to say um 
so far I'm just thinking that this is all in the application of how you apply the foundation for it to go on perfectly and it just seems kind of like um, you know a little bit goes a long way like you don't need a whole lot but uh, yeah I'm really enjoying it I think it just looks beautiful very natural finish and I will check back in with you guys you know give it some time for the oils to kind of like make their way to the surface and see if I get a little bit more oilier so I've now been wearing this foundation for eight hours so I'm really excited I get to delve into the nitty-gritty and what I think about this. So first off, let's just start with what it looks like after eight hours of wear. I feel like it looks really good. I'm barely shiny, like not even really, like just barely a little bit on my forehead. No big deal. Keeping in mind, I have not touched this up whatsoever. I am starting to notice just a slight little bit of creasing on my laugh lines. Again, no big deal. If you have some powder, foundation, or anything, just dab it and it's gone. Awesome. So let's get into my final thoughts on the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. So let's start with the pros. The good things that I love about this foundation are, number one, that it's highly, highly pigmented. I mean, a little bit goes a long way. So with about a pump and a quarter or a pump and a half, you can cover your whole face. Keeping in mind that I don't really need a lot of coverage normally, so it was so easy for me to just you know, smooth everything, get a nice base. And I just feel like because a little bit goes a long way, it's a foundation that's going to last you for a long, long time. So if you're gonna use this every day, you know, that's amazing. Another thing that I love is that it had great oil control. So, you know, if you're somebody that has really oily skin, I feel like this is really gonna work provided that you set your skin up right and you also set your foundation. I think those are really important steps and you just can't like skip out on that. Um, also, I just like, again, that it lasted all day long, you know, up until the eight hour mark, which is normally when I would actually touch up if I were going to be wearing it for longer. So now let's get into the cons. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so the first con that I want to say is this foundation feels like I'm wearing a heavier foundation, which is something I'm not used to because I typically wear foundations with a lighter to medium coverage. Now, I can notice when I go up to something that's fuller coverage because it just feels like something is sitting on my skin. Normally I have to remind myself, okay, you know, don't touch your face, like you're wearing makeup, you know, you don't want to mess that up. But all day I just felt like I didn't even need to remind myself, like I already just knew, like I could just feel it sitting on my skin. So if that's something that's not really going to bother you, then, psh, you know, like don't even worry about it. But it is something to note if you are very picky about what you put on your face and if you don't like that feeling, then this probably isn't going to be the best foundation for you. So um, another con, like I told you guys, around the five, six hour mark, I started to notice that my pores around my cheeks, which is typically where I get bigger pores, um, just started to show up. As you guys saw, I did prime my face with one of my favorite, like best hands down, holy grail primers. And I also set my makeup, but I did find after that five to six hour mark, they were visible. As long as you're, you know, closer to me, <laughs> you know, for somebody that's far away, they're not gonna see the pores on my cheeks. But um, yeah, that's also something if you do have a lot of pores, you should really think about um, maybe just getting a sample and trying this out to see if this is gonna work because it might not work for your skin type. Okay, so this is kind of a big one for me. I am all for spending money on foundations that you know are high quality, last a long time. I'm not scared to spend that kind of money. Now, I just wanna break down the price of the foundation for you. The foundation is $40. That's not a big deal at all. 
It's a great price for a foundation, especially a highly pigmented one. However, they do recommend that you use their flat foundation brush. The foundation brush is $32. So when you combine that, you've got $72. That's gonna set you back quite a bit, plus tax wherever you live. So you really have to think about whether that's worth it for you. If you're gonna use this every day and you love wearing full face, long lasting foundation, then that's not a big problem. You're gonna keep using that brush. Now, this is gonna be a foundation that you're gonna use on special occasions where maybe you need a little bit more higher performance makeup. You know, that's up to you about what your budget is, but that is something to think about. So my last con. I'm gonna show you guys some pictures. I'm just gonna put them up here. Um, now, while I was out and about, the foundation looked beautiful. It was gorgeous. It just looked so amazing in person. And I even got you know a wonderful compliment. Somebody said I looked like I had a doll face and I was like, girl, you don't know about this new foundation. Now that was awesome. When I got home, I took pictures with flash because I wanted to test and see if there was flashback and eek okay eek <laughs> even though they say that this is a foundation that lasts all night you better make sure you ain't going nowhere with flash photography because it will make you look like a ghost or if you are a woman of color it will just make your foundation look way more lighter than the rest of your body so you know, that's something to think about again here. This foundation is for an occasion where you're going someplace without flash photography. Unless, you know, you don't mind. You wanna be, you know, popping with the ghost look. Like that's that's all good. Do you boo if that's for you? <laughs> but you know, it's definitely something that I will take note of. I won't be wearing this to like an event where there's gonna be flash photography. All right, you guys. So if you have any more questions about my face routine that I used for this review, I'm gonna go ahead and put all of that in the description box because I don't wanna make this video way too long, you know, um, I just wanna kinda wanna like get to the nitty gritty, but I will put everything in my whole little step process because I know some of you guys on my last review were like, I didn't see you prime, blah, blah, blah. So I will put everything down below for you guys. And then if you have questions after that, you can put them down in the comment section. If you found this really helpful, then go ahead and give this a thumbs up. That would really help me out. And if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I don't know what you're waiting for, but you're missing out. All right, you guys, let me know if you have any other foundation requests down below because I read your comments and I respond. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.